Asthma is the most common chronic condition among American children. One in every 10 kids suffers from the coughing and wheezing and difficulty breathing. Today, we're going to ask Dr. Jenny Wilkins from Age Vital Pharmacy if there's anything we can do to prevent asthma and what are the best ways to treat it. Dr. Jenny, it's scary when you see a kid wheezing and coughing and they can't get their breath, or an adult. Yeah, it is scary. What can you do for that? Well, there are so many different things that you can test for, number one. It's, and it's all linked to nutritional deficiencies as mm. opposed to, you know, taking all of these asthmatic delbuterol inhaler, the Adver inhaler, that, you know, they're bronchodilators, so they expand the chest, but they have uh, side effects that go along with it. So mm -hmm. you're degenerating bone, you're compromising the immune system, and then you're mm -hmm. also, and that's the last thing somebody with an asthma attack yeah. wants to do is to take a steroid and then weaken their immune system further, mm -hmm. and then it makes it into a more chronic condition, and then you'll see that happen more and more, and then kids with asthma end up having more types of allergies. They're allergic to different types of foods. They no longer, you know, can they lose their sense of smell mm -hmm. or their sense of taste and it's just really bad. So what I do, especially with my immunologists, my allergists, my doctors, ENTs, those are the most popular referrals I get, you know, allergy patients mm -hmm. from. I like to test them to see what specific deficiencies they have. And it's always a deficiency in some vitamin or antioxidant. Mm -hmm. oh. So my most popular products, you know, um, oh well, asthma types I guess we can talk about the different types yeah, of so asthma. It's not all because people just think <gasps> garden yeah, breathing and stuff like thing. that. Right. So different people have different symptoms for allergic reactions. So an, an allergic in, intrinsic asthma. So that's the kind where you know you you have the dog, the dust, and then mm. you have the non-allergic intrinsic asthma. So air pollution, just like scents, perfumes. Like I'm very sensitive to perfumes. Mm -hmm. Somebody wears. Linda like, has that trouble. Yeah, I, cry. I can't. Like I do too. My <laughs> eyes water and my nose sniffles, and my husband starts laughing at me. But there's different types of environmental mm -hmm. asthma. So when you're allergic to different types of trees, and then food, different types of asthma. And asthma doesn't mean you're just wheezing. You could even have like a dry cough. Oh, you see uh -huh. someone that just has this cough all the time and they're like <clears throat> that's a form of asthma that's usually your body saying okay we're getting kind of close there and then it could lead to that chronic asthma with the wheezing oh, wow. and then you have to have some assistance so your tests show you what you need to treat it with yeah what deficiency we're looking specifically you know for lung pathways to see you know if your filters in your lungs are you know working properly so my most popular you know deficiencies are CoQ10 and I have a product called uh, CoQ10 plus and it's a 300 milligram, but CoQ10 is an antioxidant, it's one of the most powerful antioxidants, but it really helps uh, rejuvenate uh, different types of lung tissue. And then I have another product called CardioFit, CardioFit vitamin D with K2 in it. Car mm. um, vitamin D is really good for the immune system, mm -hmm. and I think everybody in our society is deficient in vitamin D. Yeah. Usually their bones hurt, and then you'll start seeing someone get a cough when they have a deficiency in vitamin D. And the moment I give them a shot of vitamin D or a capsule of vitamin D, their cough goes away. People, when they're getting sick, they come to me too and they have the asthma from, from having a cold. And then I have another product called uh, Metabolic Immune. It's a powder. So when you're thinking of lung health, it's all antioxidants. You want to support your system by taking antioxidants. Vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C, things like that. So those are, and then, oh, NAC, N-acetylcysteine, huge. That's okay. probably the number one deficiency for asthma patients. Wow. And acetylcysteine helps you uh, rejuvenate the lining of the lungs. So think of the lungs as filters. And as you're using your lungs more, those filters start to disappear. Can you imagine not cleaning the filters in your house? Mm. Oh so you're going to think yeah. of your lungs the same, same way. Concept. So that NAD flushes all of those toxins off your lungs. You don't you have to be. So you don't have to have an inhaler. inhaler. You're okay. giving your body exactly what it needs as opposed to just, here's your band aid for your boo boo. You know, yeah. come back in six weeks, little children, you know. Wow. Get good another news. med. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Jenny. Thank you. you can go see her at, at age Vital Pharmacy in downtown Sarasota, or you can go online for more information to agevital.com. Thank you so much, Dr. Jenny, and here comes the bride. We're going to have a bridal fashion show next. Mm -hmm. Yay!